Salman, um, there's no VADA testing for Pacquiao Thurman July 20th. There will be no there will be no VADA testing. What do you make of that? Um, and listen, there's been a lot of speculation throughout Manny Pacquiao's career about you know uh, him, you know people thinking that he was on something because of the fact that you know he he, he achieved so much in boxing and uh, he went up so many weight classes and beat the crap out of bigger men. Uh, but what do you make of the news that there's not going to be no VADA testing for the July 20th fight between Pacquiao and Keith Thurman? I don't know why that is. Um, it doesn't make sense. Maybe Keith Thurman's the A-side, so is it Keith Thurman the A-side? No, Pacquiao's the A-side. Pacquiao's the A-side, so maybe he called the shots. But then maybe Keith Thurman might think, forget it, I'm going to put a couple of needles in there. Because the thing is, if, if there's no VADA testing, then that basically means you can do whatever you want. And there might not even be uh, no VADA testing I'm after the fight. I'm pretty sure there must be some kind of testing, though. There's, but what, maybe, there's, I don't know, but the problem... Maybe the might, testing's not thorough, though. Maybe the testing's not thorough where, you I know... I don't know, I don't think that's right. I don't think that's even the case where there's no testing with a high-level fight like that. If there isn't any testing, then Pacquiao's career has to come under question because it, this has been a case before. So... If he's not, what will it? What apparently he was scared of needles. I heard loads of stories. He was scared of needles. He didn't like the color of blood. He just couldn't hack the pain. I heard, I heard a lot of stories. Yeah, a lot of rumors. A lot of a lot of crap rumors like that. Like he he couldn't. He, like he didn't like needles. What kind of that's? I, I don't know. Uh, we don't know. Only Pacquiao knows. But he, he just like putting questions on his Hall of Fame career. And the thing is, a lot of individuals was actually questioned some of his victories. Like was he on the juice or something? Because the thing is, if he's not, the thing is with boxing, right? You can't hide anywhere. If you if you make a mistake, you're gonna get caught out. Like look at Jarrell Miller, he got caught out. Pacquiao will get caught. Simple as that. If he if he does if he if he is doing something, he will get caught. And the the thing is, Vada should be strict and say no. Every you know professional bout that's a high level bout get tested three times a week or something, you know. To make sure there isn't a substance being slipped in and out. Like, yeah, you could test someone every four or five weeks. But then that substance might be out of the body. And it, you can't do that. You can't. Or they might test after the fight. But there's nothing there. Yeah, but the thing is, uh, Pacquiao, obviously, there's been no, there's been no, you know, conclusive evidence that, you know, Pacquiao's been on it. It's just been people saying that because of the fact that Pacquiao's been so brilliant. Um, a lot of people do think Pacquiao's been on the juice, let's be honest. Um, but... It's just not good that there's no VADA testing for this fight, you know, and it's come out in the open. Obviously, the fact that boxing scene have reported this is because obviously people are, you know, are like, why is there no VADA testing? There should be thorough testing for a fight of this magnitude. And there's not. And then when there's been like a cloud over a, over a fighter like Pacquiao, there has been a cloud. Let's be honest. We let, we're not hiding. People have accused Pacquiao of, being, of cheating and being on the roids before, um, you know, so... It does definitely add to, you know, it makes you suspicious when you see that there's no VADA testing. Who who was in, who made that call that there was going to be no VADA testing? Was it Pacquiao? Was it someone, you know, it doesn't make sense. Is Pacquiao the reason why there's no VADA testing? If so, then obviously then it raises suspicion, doesn't it? What do you make of that? Uh, yeah, I agree. Um, Pacquiao, he needs to be a bit more smart. I don't know why he's like even... He should. He should be. We don't. Know, that. We should. don't know though. It might not be Pacquiao. It might not be his decision why there's no VADA testing. We just don't know. So yes. it may be the commission. It might be some. You know, we just don't know. But um, it's definitely. It's definitely. You know, s suspicious. You know, when you when you see when you hear something like that, or when so, when you hear boxing scene reporting that, it's just not. It doesn't sit down well with me. I think every fight should be VADA tested, and I think they should. They should. You know, eliminate cheating once. You know, from the sport entirely. I think anyone that gets caught should be heavily punished, fined, banned for a while. Um, you know, I just, I, I, just don't like the fact that you know a fight of this magnitude has not, doesn't have proper testing. Vada testing should be there for this fight. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think of the in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.